Yes, on Twitter, uh, this guy went totally viral yesterday for posting this video. So he works at uh, at the Holiday Inn, and not my hotel of choice. No, <laughs> that's not where you would stay. No, but he works at the Holiday Inn. Uh, I emailed the video, Troy. I know I can't get out of this. Oh, you, you're stuck. You're, poor Why? Troy. Is what are you stuck. doing? He's stuck on Linda Fairstein's smiling uh-huh. face. <laughs> he can't get away from oh, it. I hope that winds up on your phone, your screensaver, on your computer. <laughs> Hello, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so this guy uh he works at the at the Holiday Inn and I guess Oh, that guy, yeah, I, I I guess somebody uh he was he's a uh young uh black man and I guess somebody had, had spoke with him spoken with him on the phone uh earlier in the day and was very very unkind to him, very impolite. And well, she used uh, the phrase uh I'll just say effing n oh. to describe him. Apparently, she called him a friggin' night worker. No, that's not. That's oh, it's not, not what she said. Oh. I know it's tough with the with the letters. You sometimes oh, don't know. Yeah. But no, he actually. I, I'm not. I probably won't say it myself. Oh, sure. But he does explain on the video uh, what she said. Okay. Uh, so she came in to try to get a room, and he was like, I, "I, unfortunately, will not be giving you a room today, mainly because of what you said to me on the phone." And he decided to turn his video camera on on his phone. Yep. And this really is just a terrific way to handle somebody like this, I think. And that, but you called me a uh, uh, well, fucking I nigger. Just say that. <laughs> I understand that, but you called me a fucking I'm sorry. nigger. No, I'm sorry. you weren't sorry when you said it on the phone. I was, listen, there was no, people screaming. No, but at, home. at the end of the day, and the climate be. that we live in today, society, I, said I, was sorry. I understand that, but <laughs> it's, it's above me now. I need a room. <laughs> well, there's the best restaurant next door. No, oh, please let me hear. My daughter's here. I'm sorry, but I mean, I was on the phone when you said it. I said I'm sorry. Please, I've been in a, I've had a horrible day. And I today. had a horrible time when hearing that. He won't let me in. It's, it's above me. She called me a fucking nigger. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> he's so <laughs> casual. He, he's he, the video is on him from his people have seen it and the cameras. I mean, he's just so casual. Yeah, it. he's very fact based. We can tweet out the video. Uh, we already did. That. Okay, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's my favorite part. Yeah. Really, well, you see, well, you see, that's why. Because <laughs> this woman is there with her family, so yeah. I think that that's one of her family members that says, "Why won't you just let her in?" And he really does just explain. He's well, very matter of fact. Here's here's exactly what happened. Do you think her excuse is good? There were people yelling no, and honking. Not really. You, you, I had a bad day. Yeah. No. No, you don't think that that's uh, acceptable? When you drop that on somebody on the phone, yeah. you have to just go to another hotel. Yeah. That's you it. Know, why the fuck would you check in there? And I've heard there's a Best Western next door. Yeah, he's, he did indicate that. And what could possibly lead up to that? Well, you know, are you asking honking? me for real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you're on the phone with the Holiday Inn, I assume you're trying to get a room. Yeah, but yep. there's honking, there's oh. shouting. Yeah, or maybe he wasn't giving her the type of room on the floor she wanted. Exactly. And instead of just calling the guy an asshole or hanging up on him, right. she fucking drops the atomic bomb. Right. Scroll back just a little, Troy, just so we can yeah. uh, get the proper context of what's going on here. Sure. I've, been in a, I've had a horrible day And I today. had a horrible time when hearing that. He won't let me in. It's, it's above me. She called me a fucking nigger. <laughs> Sir, my grandma just I died. understand that, but it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me. Sorry. <laughs> the best card. restaurant is next door. Sir, the rest of our family is I understand is here. that, but it's above me. <laughs> please. I she apologize. She said what she said. I understand that. I understand. She's very... It's, it's, it's how, a, but you, I, it's I understand there's me. been a death in the family. But how the fuck can you lobby to get a room... How can you lobby to get a room after you said that on the phone? You know what? You know Fucking what? suck it up, idiot. Go somewhere else. I'll tell you, this, well, this is why this guy, he didn't turn the camera on her. No. No. He did not. He had mercy. Because that would have been horrible for her if he had turned the camera. But here's why. It's because her grandma, it's obviously her grandma's funeral. That means her whole family is there. Which means her whole family is going to be like, hey, why are you staying at the Best Western while the rest of us are staying at the Holiday Inn? And you know what she's going to have to tell her family? Yeah, well, you remember, you know what I said around the table a lot? <laughs> <laughs> I actually said that to a guy. So, in the most ironic twist of how uh, cancel culture works, this guy blows the fuck up for this yesterday. And, of course, people start scrolling through his tweets. Sure. And they find, two years ago, 
he was being transphobic in his tweets. So what? So they want to cancel him. Ah. Uh. And he was smart enough to go on Twitter and say, we apologize for it, and he explained himself. Okay. And then he said, you can try to cancel me all you want. This is all going to be over tomorrow anyway. <laughs> like, you can't cancel me from anything, which is true. Um, what did he say that was so transphobic? You can go back, uh, uh, Troy, if you scroll up there, right on his Twitter account, uh, he retweeted somebody, actually, for whatever reason, that found that one right there, that found all of his old tweets. And he's, uh, apparently he's gay. Okay. And so he, why did you giggle at that, Troy? What, what, what told you that? Was it after he said one word? <laughs> <laughs> and he was, uh, he was tweeting stuff out like, uh, trans are the reason why straights think gays want to be girls. Y'all say I'm not educated, but how can I be gay and not know about the gay community? I just don't agree with trans people. See, Y'all saying I'm transphobic. I'm not. I have nothing against trans. I just don't agree with it. Get See, over it. Every fucking com group, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of lesbians that don't like trans people here. Every group has fucking infighting. And like, this one doesn't like that one. Mm -hmm. Black people have it. Every, I'm, I'm sure Jews have it. You know, white people. Everyone has fucking infighting. This is LGBT infighting. Right. You know, you don't fucking crucify the guy because he said something you don't like. Yeah, I mean, white people are like, you know, people from the South don't like people from the North. People from the North don't like people from the South. Yeah. But yeah, so they're trying, this is... This Somebody goes through the old tweets, and all he's doing, he's not even turning the camera on the woman and no. trying to ruin her life. He's doing something that is equal parts justified and hilarious. You know? I mean, it's the perfect video for me. I think it's awesome. Like, why do, why, why, he's not doing anything. He is right. If, if a person <laughs> calls the hotel you're working at and calls you something as horrible as that, and all you do is turn around and go, it's above me? I mean, it's above me is now a thing. With, and, and I love that. That I, people are now going, it's above me. And, and you've actually, you, you've said that to hotel employees before we've talked about this. Are you talking, are you... Are you talking to me, Sam? Yeah, Robert? yeah, no, yeah. That's we're, not we're true. Like you know, when you didn't get a room that time in Montreal, and that was how you reacted. That's and I was not, like, Sam. You should probably go to another hotel. That's not true. I remember that. Travis remembers it. Yeah, of course I do. It happens every year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why they tried to get us to go to Austin this year. Oh, because I keep doing it. <laughs> yes, it's frustrating. It's, it's just not true and horrible. But there is. He did put out T-shirts. There's a T-shirt that he's selling with a picture of his face on it that says "The Best Western is Next Door," and then there's on the back it says. It's above me now. Yep. It's above me now is now a, a, a phrase. It's a turn of phrase. It's which, above me now. Which I think is great. Yeah, he really did just keep saying that. Yeah. He handled it relatively nicely because no one knows who the woman is. I understand. It's above me now. It's above me. I understand. Sir. It's above me. Sir. I'm just begging. <laughs> sir. There's been a death in the... Sir. Go to another fucking hotel. She's trying to get sympathy. She's being all whiny. Like, ah, ah, I'm having a really bad day. I need a room. There's a Best Western next door. <laughs> I haven't heard uh, anything from the Holiday Inn, from the corporate level of the Holiday Inn uh, speaking on this. But I would make this dude employee of the month. I think it's great. Why did he say I called? Uh, did he meant to say I got called? Yeah, I think he, yeah I, think he, I think he just had a typo and the tweet like, scroll down just a quarter of an inch, Troy, so we can see the, yeah. It's got 146,000 retweets and 422,000 likes. So I think at this point, it's too late to delete it and uh, rewrite it, you know, because you can't edit a tweet. 8.3 million views. Yeah. So I think he just goes, you know what, I'm going to have to leave the typo in. People are going to get it. He's probably, you know, a little upset when he was writing it. So he at least, yeah, he had the, he had the, the energy going, yeah, the butterflies going. Yeah. 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 Adrenaline was pumping through his arms. Yes, and his life, Hannibal Burris will be playing him in his life story. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. On Twitter, he's Craig No Friday. I don't know what that means, but I think Too he's wise. great. Hmm? Too wise. Too wise, yeah. I think he's great. It's above me now. Oh, it's above oh, okay. me. So he spoke to BuzzFeed News. He did. And he said uh, that when she called to book a room, he explained to her that the hotel had an automated reservation line. He says, I sent her there twice. She called back, and at this point, she was hostile on the phone. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what led up to it. Now, hostile on the phone, meaning uh, she was just a little rude, or she called him effing N. Yeah, no, 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 the second one. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a man has quickly become a meme for calmly telling a woman it's above me. <laughs> I, I mean, it's such a great line. It's above me now. Because yeah. what are you going to say? 
Oh, okay. Uh, that's like that. That's like that uh, Chappelle show sketch when they go <laughs> and if they ask for the manager, tell them you are the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I am the manager. <laughs> uh, I said, "Is there anything else I can do for you?" I paused and I and she didn't think I was on the phone with her anymore because her husband said something and she yelled this effing n word and I said, "Excuse me," and she hung up. Oh, okay. So she didn't mean for him. To, I'm not saying it's nice, but she didn't no. mean for him to hear it. Yeah, apparently she was just relaying the information to her husband, not realizing he was still on the phone. Right. She oh. did the talk before the click instead of the click before the talk. <laughs> yep. So it's, it's a it's a mistake a lot of people made. It's a big mistake. Gets you every time. It get, every time oh, it got me again. I thought it was talk before the click. Click before the talk. She probably won't forget that again. No. no. Always give it the good click. Maybe it's one of those uh, Bluetooth systems in your car where you think you've hung up, but it takes a couple of yeah. seconds to figure itself that out. That is a big difference, though. I mean, if, obviously, it's fucking it's not right, but it's a big difference between saying that and being overheard and yelling it at someone. Yes. She still deserves. Of course. She's, she, and you still shouldn't get the room. No. She still, when that guy went, excuse me, she never should have gone into that hotel. Oh, it's a stupid thing. What an idiot. That's white privilege, thinking you can go into a hotel and still get a room from a guy that just heard you call him the effing N. That's white privilege. He says that Holiday Inn Express told him that they're standing fully behind him. I mean, I would hope so. Can you imagine if Holiday Inn was like, you can't treat our customers like that? <laughs> you did not take it up the corporate yeah, food chain Yeah, if they upgraded properly. her to a better room, apologize yeah. for the inconvenience. Miss, we'd like to apologize. The, the, he did, it was not above him at all. Oh. Wow. One guy says, hashtag it's above me is the energy for the rest of the year. <laughs> I think that that's great. I think it's awesome. When did this happen? Yesterday. Wow. Just yesterday. And it just uh, exploded all afternoon. Brett in Florida. What's up, Brett? Hey, guys. Just uh, real quick, wanted to bring up the fact that she's just a customer, right, going in there. This is this uh, is not to take her side at all, trust me. But uh, doesn't she still have the right to get the room? I, I mean, maybe in some weird legal way, but I mean, who's, how, how are you going to spin that when, when a, a, a fucking, the guy who's works at the hotel heard you say that that's a tough sell. I think in any, in any, uh, customer service business, any business where a person is selling anything to another person, if you call them something like that. They are fully justified to say, you know what? I don't think we're going to do business. Yeah, or, or, or that's like saying if you're in a bar and you yell out at the bartender and then you wonder why they won't serve you another drink. Right. <laughs> Imagine the trouble Holiday Inn would be in if they were like, no, give that person the room. The customer, after all, the customer's always yes, right. The customer's always right. <laughs> Can you imagine right. if the Holiday Inn was like, well, the customer's always right. Do you know what the customer said? You're saying the customer's right. Well, it is our policy. Yeah, unpo it's not popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we don't stick to our guns on everything, I, you know, it's chaos. It's anarchy. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Uh, let's go to uh, Matt in New Jersey. What's up, Matt? Yo, what's going on, Jameson? Hello. What's up, bud? We, uh, were, I was in L.A. with my buddy buying Coke, and he was on the phone with his dealer. And when he thought he hung up, he was like, yeah, you know, we just got to get it from this N-word, and then we're going to be good. And when we got there, the guy was like, yo, did you call me a fucking N-word on the phone? Oh, no. See, here's the thing. The problem with uh, doing that with a Coke dealer yeah. is that a lot of times a, a guy at a hotel desk will make like a fun meme video that just kind of humiliates you and not gives you a room. A Coke dealer will fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my buddy was relaying me the information that you keep him on the hook for money. Like, I owe this N-word 80 bucks, so I'm going to give him 80 for this $80 of Coke. Next time, he'll have to answer his phone. It was bad. No, not good. So not what good. did the, yeah, did the did guy admit it? Yeah, what happened? The, the guy was cool about it. I think he just wanted to keep selling him Coke. It was fine. You got lucky. Yeah. He was a good guy. <laughs> it, really, it, yeah, it really is Thank amazing you, how, like, a Coke dealer can forgive a lot. Yeah, that's the other thing. That a lot of times uh, a Coke dealer isn't so worried about the social ramifications of, of, of everything that's going on. They're really just in yeah, the business. They'll let it slide. They like to sell some drugs. Yeah. I mean, they, they realize you're, you're, you're a Coke addict trying to get Coke. Right. So sometimes you might say something stupid. <laughs> it slips out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, you know, eventually I'll rob you for everything you have. Yeah. Eventually. We'll get there. <laughs> You're going to pay the piper one way or another. Right. At some point, you'll put in a big order, and I'll just steal all your money. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Oh, man. After getting caught saying that, how are you not too embarrassed to go into the hotel? How could you face him? 
How could you face him? That is balls. After you know he heard you, just I'm sir, I'm sorry, sir. I think you must you for because you must be so out of touch. And there is, I mean, there is something about white privilege might be that you just don't understand how bad the thing that you just said was. You know what I mean? Where you think you can talk your way out of something like that. So maybe she thinks I can talk my way out of this because I just had a bad day. I had a slip of the tongue. I didn't mean it. And like we were talking about earlier, the last thing I want is to have to explain to my family why I'm not staying at the same hotel that that everybody else is. There's probably a funeral. The grandmother or somebody died. Grandma's funeral. Yeah. I went to my grandma's funeral. I can't imagine. We all had to stay at the same hotel in Detroit. I can't imagine... (laughs) Being like, okay, I know everybody's staying at. I'm staying at the Best Western. Why is that? Oh, I just I called uh, the guy at the front desk a horrible racial slur. So I'm gonna I'll be at the Best Western. Yeah. It's about, I was I tried to get a room, but it went above him. But we're all meeting and we're all getting together and meeting in the conference room. Yeah, if we could do and it trading memories. <laughs> if we could do it in between the two hotels, that would be better for me because it's it's above him now. Yeah. Well, she didn't know that. He knew that she said that. Oh, but he might not have recognized until, until she went in. But once she went in and found out that he knew, it was she her. still tried to justify it. She wasn't like, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab this L. I'm mean, gonna go ahead and take it. I would have said no. It must <laughs> somebody else. You kidding me? She's so dumb. She probably didn't think the employee would remember if she walked in or recognize her voice. Yeah. Oh, are are you the are you the woman that just called me huh? the effing N? I Ooh. thought and her brilliant and genius response was probably, I thought I had hung up. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting beeped at. Yeah, you don't understand. There's people shouting at me. Uh, my grandma's dead. She should have just had the husband go in and get through him. Unless she gave away so much information. My daughter is staying there. Well, she probably just gave away too much info. Yeah, here's my husband's credit card number, just in case.